I was basically looking for a method to uh, A-B test against different plugins on Ableton Live. I really wanted to test the difference between the uh, Neve 33609 SE and the, the full version of the 33609, the new C uh, from UAD. I found the best way of doing this is actually to create an audio effects rack in the utilities section in Live, and then drag in the version I had in the mix, this DSC version. And I found that in the chain section at the bottom there, click on that little button with the three little bars, burger menu, you can create a chain. I'll solo it because I only really want one to be playing at once. Right click on the effect rack and create new chain. And rename this one as well, so this is going to be the full version. Now I'm going to grab the plugin, so this is the full version out of the 33609. So if I use the same preset as I was using on the SE version, on the full version. And there you go, so I can now solo each different one. And listen to the difference it's making. So I've got these settings very light. I, I don't like a very overly compressed mix, so... I think if you maybe drove it a bit more, uh, you might get a bit more of a, of a difference, but I can't really hear anything on that. Another little trick I used to do actually was to use the LA-2A on the front of the mix. So I'm just gonna push one in here and just see how that compares as well. Again, I'm gonna set it very light. I really like the way that the LA-2A adds warmth, but that's really what I'm using it for here. I must say, out of these new plugins as well, I really like the new looks um, that they've given the, the knee. Um, I think it sounds a lot better as well than the original 33609 emulation that UAD did. And I do like the black look of the SE, may, maybe even just a little better than the, the blue kind of full version, although that may be just because I've been working with the blue version for a little while now. So one of the things you could do with this is basically just actually set the gain and the threshold slightly differently on the full version. And then of course you can use it to A-B test against the, the differences that you're making on the mix. Some plugins will allow you to do this. Uh, I haven't really found a way of doing this very satisfactorily on the UAD side of things. And now the Tertronix is running a little heavier as well, I'm getting about 2 dBs of compression. I mean, more than I would normally give it, actually. I would normally go for a maximum of about 1 dB at the front of the house here. Really, I'm just trying to give it a little bit of warmth. I really don't like that overly compressed pumping effect, so I'm trying to avoid that. So I hope that's helped a little bit. Um, obviously, you can put more effects in the rack if you wanted to, to try different things out. Um, if you want to try different uh, whole chains, it's very easy. The only problem of course being that they all do run, so uh, they're all hot all the time, which means that you need to have the, the processing overhead, or in my case the UED overhead, uh, in order to support all three plugins at once. The track you're listening to is Adios, and it's uh, available now. Um, SoundCloud and Bandcamp, so go check it out if you like it. And uh, yeah, like I say, I hope that's helped. It certainly helped me to be able to do that. <laughs> 